<laughs> Why do I want to do an opera for families? It, it more comes out of what I'm interested in, telling stories within families, things that are everyday, and my everyday has a lot to do with kids these days, and it's just lovely. Okay, sure. <laughs> Your turn for what? For playing. Who's in church? Who is in church? <laughs> Well, Little Bear is about a family that tells stories to their kid. And they're writing the stories, but in order to write them, they act them out. So there's a little domestic scene at first, and then they say, okay, the, the daughter says, come on, come on, tell me a story. And so they not only tell, but they act out the story of Little Red Riding Hood. But instead of being a literal recreation of it, there's commentary, they stop, they start, they say, what does this mean, what's going on? And it's very fast paced. Then they have another discussion and they tell the story of Beauty and the Beast, uh, which is a much more slower, much more contemplative, almost unsung. I, I, I envision it as sort of a, a puppet or ballet, something that's very slow to balance the fast pacedness. And then they tell the story of Rumpelstiltskin, which just gets incredibly manic. And the interesting thing is all these stories are quite dark. Uh, all fairy tales, all children's stories have incredible darkness and children have big fears, big emotions, big loves, big needs. They're really, they have this huge brightly colored world. And so I really wanted the little bear to be seen through the child's eyes. And also at the same time it's very nostalgic for parents to tell stories. It's both a good thing and a bad thing to write your own libretto. I think it's a bad thing because you have too much freedom and it's a good thing because you have a lot of freedom. A lot of my models and my sort of aesthetic and creative models are strange ones and non-operatic. A lot of it's the, the sort of Marx Brothers movies I liked. Everything from the 1940s, the Ben Hecht movies, the This Girl Friday, where they talk a mile a minute. And I just love it. It's the kind of family I grew up in too. So we would tell stories and we'd talk and we'd interrupt. And it's tricky putting that on the stage because you're just flooded with words and you need to see it a couple times. So I, I've realized that it's there and I've, I've still kept it, but I've tried to balance it with slow or moving sections, some of which you'll see, some, some of which have yet to be written, but if I'm already in my mind thinking of sort of a structural balance between just this flood of joy and running around the living room and telling stories and throwing on a sheet and betraying your red riding hood and then just being very contemplative and sort of staring out the window and imagining that Beauty and the Beast are in the forest out there in a much sort of slower uh, daydream. This is not a straightforward telling of children's stories. It's a little bit meta. It's about the telling of stories and how we go through that process and how they're both very humorous and very serious and very loving and very dark all at the same time. It's not really about the stories, it's about the storytelling. <laughs>